Hello and welcome once again. This is Joe Drums coming to you. What the heck is this? And what the heck is that? Coming up. So I found these electronic pads made by Boss. These are called the Dr. Pad 2 and Dr. Pad 3. They actually made a Dr. Pad 1, uh, but I never ended up getting that one, I think possibly because I just didn't like the sounds on it. But these I actually used, some of the sounds that were on this when I was playing back in the 80s. I don't have any video of me playing these, but uh, I do have a video uh, that you guys will be really interested in seeing and probably getting a chuckle out of. Yeah, I found some old videos back in the early, early 80s of me and a buddy playing uh, together called Jeff and Joe. And uh, we made a lot of, made a lot of money. Uh, we played a lot of places, had a lot of fun. And uh, so I've got some uh, clips from that. And we're going to check this thing right out right now and hear what this sounds like. And then after that, we're going to check out some of the videos that uh, I have from the past. So let's do that right now. Okay, the uh, Dr. Pad uh, 2 here basically has six sounds in it. And the sounds are uh, bass drum 1, bass drum 2, an electric tom, steel drum, gong small, and then star chimes. So I'll play uh, each one of these and you can kind of hear what they sound like. Here's the bass drum 1. And then you can also kind of mix where the uh, the sensitivity. If you hit it harder, it'll the pitch will go higher. If you hit it softer, it'll hit lower. So here's the sensitivity all the way up. Uh, then you can make the. Uh, the range even higher just okay next one is bass drum 2 here's what this sounds like you can make it go lower sensitivity And number three, uh, this is the electronic drum. And here's the higher pitched. Here's the sensitivity. And next up we have the steel drum. Here's what this sounds like. Can go a little bit higher. All these different pitches. So what I usually do is set it on low and increase the uh, the sensitivity. And if you hit it hard, it hits higher pitch. So you get random different higher and lower notes. Uh, next up is the gong small. 
So here's what this sounds like. You can hit a higher gong. You can let it decay quicker. You can hit kind of in the medium. And then here's the low. And sensitivity can make it all right and then last but not least we have the star chimes which is kind of like chimes and here's what they sound like we're gonna have some higher pitch chimes All right, and that's pretty much it for the Boss Dr. Pad number two. Number three here, the Boss Pad three, uh, it's called the DRP three, Dr. Pad. Uh, the first one, <laughs> I used to scare a lot of bar owners uh, with the, the smashing glass sound. So here's what that sounds like. <laughs> Sound pretty good. It used to scare a lot of people, like I said. Here's kind of a little bit higher up. <laughs> Smaller glass. Here's a shot glass. <laughs> so uh, next up on the DP uh, DRP three is uh, cowbell, and we'll put this back down. Here's what it sounds like at its lowest pitch. And again, you can change the sensitivity, make it higher, go more, and again, we'll change the sensitivity to make it go high or low, so you got, All right, next up is the timbali sound. So let's put that back, everything, set it back. And here's the timbali. Medium sound. A little tighter pitch. Pretty good. Um, let's see, the next one up is the scratch. This is for all you rappers out there. So you get the scratch sound here. Higher pitch. All right, and the next up is the, I don't know how you even pronounce it, Quajada. It's basically the uh, the intro to uh, Ozzy Osbourne, uh, Crazy Train. You know, the da-da, da-da, da-da. First of all, just the, the length. You can go up higher. I call this a vibra slap. <laughs> so I guess the old way of saying it back in the day was Quijada, spelled actually Q-U-I-J-A-D-A, -A -A, Quijada. You guys know what the actual pronunciation of it is, let me know. Alright, and then last but not least we have a gong, but this one is the large one. I used to use this at the end of my drum solos, and this sounds like this. Here it is, a little bit higher pitched. And then 
here's the higher pitch one. And you can shorten the sensitivity and also shorten the length of the note. And again, you can change the sensitivity where it can change the note automatically. So any one of these sounds, you can change the sensitivity where, you know, if I hit it hard, it's going to change the pitch. So anyway, pretty much in a nutshell, that's what these were. Again, these came around uh, about 19, late 80s, early 90s, I want to say. And I uh, had some fun with these, used them quite a bit in, in the early days. Uh, don't use them so much now, but I wanted to show you these and, you know, hopefully you guys got a kick out of them.